Hello guys, welcome to the Full Steps Solution channel. Today we are gonna demonstrate how to increase internet speed in Windows 10 and 11. It often drives people crazy when they have to wait for a very long time to upload videos to the internet or to download something from the internet. The majority of people want to increase internet speed in Windows 10, but they don't know how to do it. We will show you four effective ways to increase upload and download speeds. So stay tuned and get ready to go. One, remove the limit on reservable bandwidth. The first thing that you should do in order to increase your internet speed in Windows is to remove the default bandwidth limit that is set by Windows. When you are using Windows, you are essentially using 80% of your total internet speed as the remaining 20% is reserved for Windows purposes. This includes Windows updates and other stuff. However, fortunately, you can easily remove this limit from your computer so that you are able to use all of your internet speed. To do this, follow the following instructions. First of all, open up the Run dialog box by pressing the Windows key plus R on your keyboard. In the Run dialog box, type in this line and then hit Enter. This will open up the Local Group Policy Editor window. In the Local Group Policy Editor window, navigate to Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, Network. Then, on the right-hand side, scroll down and then double-click on QoS Packet Scheduler. Once you have done that, double-click on the Limit Reservable Bandwidth Policy. In the follow-up window that opens up, first of all, choose the Enabled option. Then, change the bandwidth limit from 80% to 0%. After doing that, click Apply and then hit OK. This will allow you to use the precious 20% that Windows has reserved. 2. Change DNS Server Domain name system or DNS indirectly impacts your internet speed. This is because DNS servers impact how quickly a website loads on your computer. As such, if you are using a DNS server that has a slow response time or not good enough, browsing can become quite troublesome. As it turns out, when you install Windows, a DNS server is automatically set up for you that is provided by your internet service provider or ISP. DNS is essentially the address book of the internet. This is because it knows which domain name is linked to which IP address. When you are trying to open a website, a DNS lookup is done in the background before the website loads up. As such, if you use a faster DNS server that performs these lookups quickly, your internet speed will be impacted, albeit indirectly, instead of the default DNS server. We would recommend using the public DNS server provided by Google and it is quite safe to do so. To change your DNS server, follow the following instructions. First of all, right-click on the network icon on your taskbar and choose the Network and Internet Settings option from the menu that comes up. On the Network and Internet Settings window, navigate to Advanced Network Settings. Then, on the Advanced Network Settings, click on the Change Adapter Options option. This will bring up a new window where you can see your Ethernet adapters. Right-click on your Ethernet adapter and choose Properties from the drop-down menu. On the Properties window, double-click on the Internet Protocol version 4 option. Then, choose the Use the following DNS server addresses option. After that, provided the following IP addresses respectively of Google's public DNS server. With that done, click OK. You have successfully changed your DNS server. 3. Turn off background apps. As it turns out, the background apps running on your computer often use your internet for their own purposes. As such, this can affect your internet speed especially when an update is being downloaded. Therefore, in order to overcome this, you can disable the background apps on your computer and save up the internet bandwidth that is being used. This is pretty easy to do. Follow the next instructions. To start off, open up the Windows Settings app by pressing Windows key plus I on your keyboard. Then, make your way to Privacy. On the Privacy Settings screen, navigate to the Background Apps tab. There, you can choose to disable all the background apps. Otherwise, you can be selective about it and only allow certain apps to run in the background, which is what we recommend as well. Should you choose the latter option, go through the list of apps provided and disable every app that you don't want to run in the background. This is only for Windows 10 as this feature has been removed in Windows 11. In case you are using Windows 11, you will have to use the Task Manager window to close any background apps manually. In case you are not sure about which background apps to close since you are not aware which application is hogging your bandwidth, there is a way using which you can find out the data hogging apps. Follow the next instructions to find them. On the Windows Settings window, make your way to Network and Internet Settings. 
Then, navigate to the Data Usage tab on the left-hand side. On Windows 11, you will have to navigate to Advanced Network Settings. There, click on the Data Usage option provided. You will be shown the apps that use the most bandwidth at this point. 4. Disable Metered Connection A metered connection is essentially an internet connection that has a data limit placed on it. Due to this limit, if your internet connection is set as a metered connection, your download and upload speed will be affected. As such, it is important to ensure that your internet connection is not set as metered connection. Follow the next instructions to do this. First of all, bring up the Windows Settings app again by pressing Windows key plus I. After that, make your way to Network and Internet Settings. Now, on Windows 10, simply click on Properties option provided. There, locate metered connection and make sure it is turned off. In the case of Windows 11, simply click the Properties option provided at the top. On the Properties screen, make sure the metered connection slider is turned off. This is it guys, these are the most effective ways to increase your internet speed. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, please let us know in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.